Hello, um, uh, I've been wanting to make this video for about a week or so. The 1000 mile review in motion V12 high torque. I bought this wheel, it was my first ever electric unicycle. I bought this wheel in sometime in June. And uh, yeah, the only time I've missed riding on it has been the month of, the month of September. I had it in the shop because I wasn't able, wasn't unable to repair it myself. I had a cracked screen and a busted trolley handle. And then as I, I got the parts for free through Emotion. So a big part of it, or a nice part about this review is that Emotion, if you buy the wheel from Emotion, you get a one year um, manufacturer's warranty. And they hooked, they sent me a brand new front, front one of these, the front bumper. They sent me a brand a new screen for free. They sent me the trolley handle for free. And um, as I was doing the repair myself, I, I, uh, oh, I, 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 um, when I was attaching the back, the back bumper, I cracked one of the hooks, and then I was told that it wasn't too big of a deal. But because of the rain and everything I do to, I do it pretty hard. I, I sent it back to them to, to repair it, um, just to hold all properly, because the inner inner hook would have been a little bit more of a repair. But I just wanted to give this the one thousand mile review and uh so this is my first electric unicycle i ever bought and uh, i'll describe the learning process uh, uh, thankfully there's a bunch of people on youtube that will teach you how to ride it and so within about i'd say two weeks i was riding in the street and um i've now ridden a thousand miles in the course of let's say june july august minus most of september and october so about four months I put a thousand miles on and I, I would have done more if I didn't keep banging myself up. So yeah, note to anybody who hasn't rode one of these, definitely I'll, I'll gear up, you just gear every gear up, ride, just ride, dress for the, dress for the slide, not the ride kind of deal. They say, dude, you, I mean, I've almost, I honestly almost permanently damaged my left foot from this thing. Um, riding in the trail, I had my tire overpressured and it ejected me. So that's definitely one thing to know. But on the review side, dude, this is this is an amazing, 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 amazing thing, dude. This is probably I every time I ride it, probably say it's the best thing I've ever per, put my money into, dude. Like I've literally bought this wheel for just over two thousand bucks, and I've seen, <laughs> yeah, dude. If I bought a car at two thousand bucks, I would have fucking I would have put fucking two thousand bucks into gas or whatever, dude. At this point, repairs or gas, dude. This thing is the real deal. Real deal. Real deal, bro. I mean, so I, I, I did, it's, I get this thing up to about 30. So I used to get this thing up to 38, 40 with the stock pedals. And I tried to get these, these, um, these, these, uh, honeycomb sp spike pedals because it's they're supposed to be a little bit good, better for the rain. I feel that I've now had to get real lower onto the pedal. It's a bit different to uh, mount. They're a little bit narrower. Uh, so the stock pedals, you will be able to get on easier. And it is, it's easier to accelerate and probably even brake, I would imagine. I noticed more on the acceleration because I, the top speed is kind of limited. It's way harder to hit top speed with these pedals, like I've had a, I, I don't know if it's because I didn't have the, the wheel for a month or if I, or if these are actually harder to ride with the upgraded pedals from in motion. Um, yeah, it's, it's been kind of, I've had to kind of change my stance up and I noticed that I really can't tap it. Like when I had this stock, the stock uh, pedals on there, I would be, I would, I would be pushed back from the machine. <laughs> so it's like the first stage of a cutout. If you keep pushing it past that, you don't. I mean, thank God it didn't cut out. I fucking thirty eight, dude. Because I used to be able to. I've tapped this thing at like forty forty one, dude. In the wind, like a wind gust will fucking push you from the back, and and you're doing thirty five or so, and push, dude. Because I, yeah. So okay, another thing about this review, as I have learned, the wind is the most. Uh, this wheel, dude. This wheel's about seventy five pounds. I'm about one thirty, maybe one forty, dude. So this the wind. The wind, bro, will whip your ass in this fucking thing, dude. Especially, I'm not that heavy of a dude. 
Um, I don't push it past like 20 miles an hour, dude. Mo on some of the roads out here, because I'll be in the lane and there'll be cars to my left, usually of me, yeah. And honestly, the worst that would be a worst case scenario is for a wind gust to knock me into traffic that's coming up my rear. And um, so, yeah, be fucking safe out there, dude, because you can push this stuff real hard. You go 35, 40, and you're pushing it, dude, and something goes wrong, it can go real wrong, dude, for real. Like, you can fuck someone's car up, you can fuck somebody up, you can fuck yourself up real bad. I have, I've only done one of those things, thank God, the later of them. And, um, yeah, so just be safe and be fucking mindful that you don't really, because I've, honestly, when you get comfortable on these things, when you get comfortable on these things, you will be trying to push yourself in traffic, da 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 and that's when shit happens, dude. Like, um, I've been trying, you, what happens is you learn how to try and time lights and stuff. Like, so you don't have to fucking come to a full stop, which is really not what you want to do. You might as well just fucking be on the side of caution, dude. And yeah, dude, so be safe out there and don't fucking just get all cocky that you can ride it and ride it. And, um, you'll, you'll be the king of the road just within the first few months of your riding, dude, like probably just, you know, learn from, learn from fucking trying to go yeah and be mindful of the where the bike lanes change and shit because some of them will be on the right side of the road and then when you go to make that right it's on the other side of the street kind of deal it's it's weird dude and you'll feel yeah so just be careful and be mindful of the traffic and the way the the paths are set up especially if you don't have a set path because i've heard writers say this and now after looking into why this stuff happens it's when you, it's when you start going off a, of, off your routes and stuff, but uh, just going back to the review of the Emotion V12 as well. Um, I, oh, ten, mostly 10 out of 10. I really couldn't complain about the wheel, honestly. It, it goes fast, it does what it says, it does the range. Uh, the range I would notice is that because I ride with my speakers at a hundred percent, I crank the music most of the time. I even put the headlights on just because uh, there's no like I'll kill. I'll kill, I'll kill like, it'll, it'll go down to 77%, 70% within 15 miles of riding. And, but then I'll tell you what, that's what I'm saying. I'll have the volume cranked, the headlight, me with the headlights on, and I'll be going, and like I said, 37, I'll be doing fucking hard hit, hard, hard hits on it, you know, and stopping and going and doing it again, you know what I mean, riding, you know what I mean? I'm not taking it as, you know what I mean? I, if I probably took it easier, I would get a little bit more range on it. But if you ride it hard and you ride the, the speaker loud, it, the, the range will be decreased Im immensely. When I charge up to 100%, it says 106 miles, and uh, I knock it down to 70 miles or 77%, 70 miles about uh, within 15 miles of riding it at 100, um, pretty much 100% output, I would say, at the headlights and my accelerations and stuff, as, as far as my, I'm concerned. And so, yeah, the range. If, if that's at that, well, uh, you pretty much are getting like uh, half of that. So if it's at uh, if it's at 100, maybe you get 60 to 50, 50 to 60 miles at 100% output, dude. Um, but I don't know. I've never heard of somebody actually getting 100 fucking miles on that this thing. Dude, that's bonkers on one charge. You'd have to be going at like 20 miles an hour maybe and like just not braking. Um, but durability is like, it, even though like... Durability is the only thing I've really broken is these two things, which is my fault because I, well, I mean, this is, I should get protected for sure, especially if I'm riding the trails, bro. That's just a dummy move. Um, so review is that it's great. And they'll hook you up for free, dude. Like that, I, that I flipped, I flipped onto like a concrete cement barrier in the middle of the road. And that's how the trolley handle cracked. But I mean, just both, um, I was... I am in probably user error, obviously, like, but they also, you hooked it up for free and it's back all good. Yeah. So if I had to repair myself, that would have been like a $300 repair though. But the trolley handle is about a hundred bucks and all the pieces because it contains electric, electric wire for this, the kill button on the bottom and the screen is a hundred bucks. So it probably would have run me a hundred or so or 200, 300 bucks to repair it. Uh, so after the year is up, definitely I want to make sure well, I wanted to make sure that before I start riding it again that I got the front bumper and say the yeah the, the bumpers and covers and shit 
But, um, yeah, you know how it goes. Anyway, this thing is amazing, dude. It really is. I'm about to go rip it. I've been waiting to make this video. You get to see so much cool stuff. You get to just rip it up. It feels great, dude. It's fucking an awesome thing to do. Um, instead of doing other stuff, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm super stoked, and it's great. <laughs>